All right, let's just jump in and start playing some games of tic-tac-toe. Play tic-tac-toe. And let's go ahead and see what ChatGPT does. So I'd love to play tic-tac-toe with you. Here's an empty game board. You'll be X, I'll be O. Make a move and tell me where you want to place it. So I'm going to go five. I think that's a great place to go. And it's going to put the five, my X, right in the middle. So now ChatGPT is going to go and it does a three. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a six. That would be a good move there. And let's see what ChatGPT does. It placed a six in the middle uh, right position. And there I am. Look, ChatGPT now does zero in the one position. So I think I've got this. I'll do the four and we'll put it in the four position. And voila, I've won the game. It tells me congratulations. So very easy to do that and very kind of interesting. So what I'd like to do next is let's play with a twist. And hey, if you're finding this information useful and helpful, please tap on the like and subscribe button. It would really help. Now on to our next game. So I'm going to tell ChatGPT, let's play another game of tic-tac-toe, but with a twist. Okay, let's see what it says. So in this particular case, it says, sure, I'm up for a new twist. Let me know what the variation is. So I have a variation here. I've already typed up. Basically what it says is at the start of the game and before I place an X, ChatGPT has to ask me a multiple choice question related to leadership. And if I answer correctly, then ask me the coordinates. If I answer incorrectly, you put a zero or an O. Uh, strategically and let's play for nine rounds. So let's see what happens if we play with ChatGPT here. So it says it sounds like fun. Here's the first question. What leadership style is characterized by a leader who seeks input from team members, values, and opinions? I'm going to say, I think that's democratic. I'm going to say C and let's see what ChatGPT does. Okay, great. I answered it correctly. Now provide the coordinates where it wants me to put it from one to nine. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in five. I think that's a good place to put it. And I'm going to hit five. And now it says, hey, place it in five. Okay, here's the updated board game. My turn. I'll place my O strategically. Now it's your turn. But it forgot to ask me a question. So maybe I'll say, ask me a question to continue playing. All right, now let's see what happens. Certainly, here's the next multiple choice question about leadership. So it says, what leadership theory suggests that effective leaders are those who can adapt their leadership style to the situation? Sounds like situational leadership. So I'm gonna answer C and it says, enter the letter and I'll determine if it's correct or not. And um, you can provide me the coordinates after that. So I'm gonna say C and let's see what ChatGPT says. Great job. Now, where do you want this? So I'm going to actually put this in six i think that's the way to go so now chat gpt is allowing me to put it there and now chat gpt goes uh oh seven i better go go ahead and do that so um, what is the next question and let's see what happens if i get this one wrong even if chat gpt um can say it so this is what's a smart acronym right we know that's specific measurable actionable relevant time bound let's go with d and see what happens so uh, it says, thanks, but it looks like you answered D. It's not correct. As a result, you lose a turn and I'll place my O strategically. Um, now it's your turn. I don't see where ChatGPT placed their O. Um, let me ask, where did you place your O? Oh, it forgot. Uh, it seems there was an error. Let me correct that. So um, here's the correct game board from after your last move. Still not really giving me the O of where it needed to be. O, O, so um, I think it's your turn because I got that one wrong. Turn because I got my answer wrong. Place the O. Okay. So it's a little bit like playing with a little child where you're telling a child like where they need to place their answers and what to do next. So uh, now ask me my question because it's my turn. Okay, so now let's see what ChatGPT does. Of course, my apologies for the oversight. It's very apologetic, but not always uh, as effective. So what leadership style is characterized by a leader who plays a strong emphasis on nurturing and supporting the team? I think that's transformational leadership. I'm going to say C and let's see what happens. 
So notice it said, excellent choice. You're correct. Where do you want it to be? Uh, I think I'm going to go with seven and let's see what happens there. And so now it says, hey, you placed it in the bottom left. Here's the updated game board. Now it's my turn. So, oh, block me. Oh, chat GPT. That was kind of mean. All right. So ask me another question. I don't know if I'm going to beat chat GPT here. Although it did have that glitch. Um, sure. Here's the next question, which leadership theory suggests leaders possess certain traits. That's trait theory. We know that. So let's hit C and let's see where I can put my X to maybe win the game. Oh, I don't think I'm going to win the game with my X, but I don't want chat GPT to win. So I'm going to say two, Oops. two. I think that'll work. And it looks like we may just have a tie. I don't think ChatGPT can win. Um, they place it in position zero. So it looks like it's a tie. Um, so let me ask, is this a tie game? And uh, it does. So you've got to coach ChatGPT just a little bit so it kind of understands what's going on. So we can even play another game. So let's play, let's play, but you, again, Again, same game, but let's use instructional design as the topic. All right, so let's see what ChatGPT can do with that. Okay, and here we go. So ChatGPT says, yeah, we'll play another round. Here's how we're playing it. First question is about Addy. In the Addy model, what does the E stand for? So I know that's um, evaluation. So I'm gonna go ahead and say A. And let's see what ChatGPT does there. Okay, great answer. Okay, where do you want to put it? Uh, I'm going to put it in five. Let's see what happens. So I don't want to play the whole game of tic-tac-toe. You've kind of seen how it works. But this is a way that ChatGPT, or you could use um, any kind of uh, tic-tac-toe game to play a fun and interesting learning game related to answering questions. And I can play the same game, play the same game, but ask me open ended question. So maybe multiple choice was too easy. Maybe I want to use open ended question. And so it'll ask an open ended question about instructional design, then I'll have to answer it. So can I briefly describe the importance of learner analysis in the instructional design process? Well, I can say um, it informs the um, design because you determine what the learners already know, oops, already know, and their gaps Oops, gaps in knowledge. Okay, let's see if it can get away with a misspelled word there. It says, thanks, you, uh, you provided a good description. Now you can place it. So now I can go ahead and place my um, X. But notice ChatGPT already placed an X for me. So a little bit of a glitch there, but that's okay. Um, playing with ChatGPT will give you experience of how you can create quick learning games. You can use them for yourself, maybe to refresh your memory instead of using flashcards so you can use ChatGPT to give you information and ideas about different variations of tic-tac-toe. You can use it to test yourself. You can use it with your friends and family. You can play a turn-based tic-tac-toe. Now let's try another twist and see what happens. And let's see. So I said, give me a twist on tic-tac-toe that involves me learning something while we play. So ChatGPT said, sure, here's a variant with a learning twist. Let's see what we do here. Each cell represents a category. So I have to answer the category. So category one is history, category two is science, three is geography, all the way to food. Hmm. Uh, so I'm gonna say X, it's gonna ask me what I wanna be. Uh, let me be X and you know, always let me go first. And I, how about, and you go first? We'll try something different. I usually go first, but we'll let ChatGPT go first, okay. So it picked O and it picked history. He was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. Does anybody know that? Um, oh, it's going to let me go. <laughs> I'll start by selecting a category and asking you a trivia question related to that category. Hmm, I do not know. Um, was it uh, Amelia Earhart? Let's see. I don't know if that's correct. Close, but not quite. Oh, I <laughs> Spelled it wrong. Well, that's on me. Okay, good job, ChatGPT. All right, so I think I'd like to go uh, position number three, and let's see what knowledge that happens to be. What's the largest continent?
by land area. So is it Europe or is it Asia? I think it's Asia, is it Africa? Let's try Asia. Yay, I got that one right. So here's a way where I can do some trivia with ChatGPT and it's gonna teach me a little bit. So that's kind of fun. It's, it's a good way to learn. So let's do another one. Say, so let's, uh, uh, let's uh, play a game. Let's play uh, tick tack toe where I can learn about artificial intelligence as we play. Whoops, as we play. Okay, let's see what happens here. All right, so it's gonna play a game related to artificial intelligence. Um, and it tells me certainly uh, Tic-Tac-Toe will provide you with information and explanations related to artificial intelligence, terms and concepts as we play. You can be the X, I'll be the O, start by choosing my position, and I'll give you an AI term. So I'm gonna do, go five. And now this game is a little bit different because while I do the information, um, it basically says, okay, here's some information, right? It's not asking me to solve the information before I'm allowed my um, X or O. It just says, here's some information, updated the board game, it went again. So I choose another position, it'll provide me some more AI related knowledge. So last time the AI related knowledge was on natural language processing. So let me go ahead and pick, um, I'm gonna try to pick the three, see if I can't block and go for a win there uh, throughout the process. So now it's gonna tell me about machine learning and how machine learning works. And now it's gonna place its O. And now I have another position. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I think I'm going to go ahead and do nine, position nine. And let's see what it asks me about here in terms of artificial intelligence. So this is just another way to play and learn through tic-tac-toe. Uh, the problem with this is kind of booms right past me, right? Here's Neural Networks Foundation. So I learned about them and I'm about to win this game. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, position six. I think I can win it. And here we go. Now let's see if this time ChatGPT actually acknowledges my win. Sometimes um, ChatGPT does not deep learning. Okay, that's a type of machine learning. And congratulations, oh, it did acknowledge my win. So that's a way, another way that you can play tic-tac-toe with ChatGPT and learn a thing or two. Now, you might be asking yourself, hey, do other AI generation tools provide this kind of uh, interest? So I'm gonna say, um, let's play tic-tac-toe here in Bard. And let's see what Bard has to say about this. So I asked it for a game, it's gonna go ahead and think about it. Love to play tic-tac-toe. Would you like to go first or second? Oh, I want to go first. Are you kidding me? Okay, let's see what happens. I don't know if I'll get a board or not. Well, actually, of course, I ran this before, so I do know what's going to happen. Uh, let me know where you like to, uh, let, how about um, show me the board? Whoops. Show me the board. Oh, me the board. All right, now let's see what happens. Can Bard show me the board? Oh, the suspense is probably killing. Ah, there it is. It makes it a little bit easier to play tic-tac-toe when you can see the board. And so I'm gonna say five here and let's see what uh, happens. So uh, now Bard is showing me that. I said five, and um, but it placed the O up there. So, hmm. Let me know where you've placed it. I said five, a five is in the middle. It did not place my five in the right place. Let's see if it places the next one in the right place. So three, and let's see if uh, Bard can find the three. No, huh. So it's giving me advice. This is great about tic-tac-toe, but it's not really playing a very effective tic-tac-toe toe game. In fact, it ignored my last. So kind of interesting, right? Uh, the different AIs will produce different types of results. So play with it, uh, but use it. It can help you with your own learning endeavors. And it's a great way to kind of start thinking about the logic of games with a simple game like this, and then you can expand later on to other games.